Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial on Twixter 5 for Adobe After Effects CS5.5. Uh, this is going to be a very basic tutorial just to get you started with Twixter. If you're looking for something more in depth, there are plenty around on YouTube, so you might want to go find out some of them. But we'll get right into it. So I'll import my footage. And then we're going to drag our footage down to this new composition icon right down here. This will create a new composition for us so we don't need to worry about sequence settings or anything like that. The next step will be to find our Twixter plugin. We can use this effects and presets section over here and type in Twixter. Alternatively, we can go up to our effects tab, go to RE Vision plugins and go to Twixter. I filmed this on a 59.94 frame per second camera, so I'm going into my frame rate over here and type in 59.94. You, you'll put in whatever frame rate you are using. Our next step will be to check this uh, frame blending icon right here. It's a couple of film clips layered on top of each other and this will just help the frames blend together better. So next we're going to drop down our clip here, drop down effects, drop down Twixter, and drop down output control. Now all of our effecting is going to be done using this speed section right here. So we're going to scrub through our video until we find the point where we want him to start slowing down, which is going to be about here for me. And I'll go ahead and click this stopwatch next to the speed, and that'll set a keyframe for us. Now we'll scrub a little bit further forward to about here, and then change our speed to about 5% I like to use. Now you can see that that slowed everything right down to 5% speed. We're going to go all the way through to about six and a half seconds, where I want it to speed up again. I'm going to put a keyframe of 5.001. This will just mean that between these two keyframes here, the speed will remain almost the same. Now, after this one, we're going to set another keyframe back at 100%, bringing us back up to real time. And that pretty much does it. Now, next will be to RAM preview it. It's going to take a while. It's important to remember when you're using Twixter to get the right sort of footage. You need to make sure that the person you're trying to slow down is going to be entirely in the air and preferably uh, in front of a blue sky. This will help Twixter work because it needs a uh, sort of plain background and then a moving object on top of that to help uh, pick out the pixels. So this is just about done here. Um, after this, you're going to render it or export it. I'm not going to go into that today, but if you want to see a tutorial on that, just let me know in the comments, and that should about do it.